see that guy over there. Dead. That guy over here. Dead. This guy down here. Dead. Like, I don't want to say it's broken, but it's... But it might be kind of broken, not gonna lie. <laughs> Dude, they got us locked down here. Dude, I just saw that guy through the bushes. Oh, same with this guy. Someone over there, can't see him though. Dude, I feel like I'm invisible just running around here <laughs> using this attachment. Bro, it's crazy. Alright guys, I just stumbled upon a pretty crazy attachment for the sniper. Um, in this case, the Pellington, which can help you out a ton with spotting enemies easier. I'm talking about one of the body attachments in here called the Tiger Team Spotlight. As you can see, the pros of this thing is 40% reveal distance. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really sure what reveal distance did before I tried this on. So pretty much what this does when you run around with the sniper is that you'll be able to see a tiny red dot above the enemy's head without you even like looking in their general direction. Now, this attachment blew my mind when I was playing on Cartel. As you guys know, the middle part of that map has all of those grassy parts, the bushes and stuff, but you can't really see through that well however with this thing it helps you out a ton to be able to spot the enemy through the bushes there might be people head glitching up in the tower on cartel you'll see them instantly with the red dot popping up now, i'm not sure if it's obvious that you should use this attachment i just haven't really seen people taking advantage of how good this thing actually is so yeah there's a quick tip if you guys want to be able to see enemies a bit easier just put this on your sniper it'll help out a ton but let's hop into a few games here so you guys can see this thing in action as well also i've seen a bunch of people ask if i'm gonna use face cam on this channel for these videos i'm just currently looking at new cameras right now to use as a face cam so yeah, i want to start doing that as soon as i got the new one and yeah, we got cartel too so i can show you guys just how efficient this attachment is on this map for example if you pull up here yeah i see this guy i would not have seen him i would not have spotted him that fast without using this attachment Oh, guy up here. Ah, oh, I choked that. Now, let me see. There are actually other attachments which also give you reveal distance. This one says 60% reveal distance. So, I just want to pop that on and see if that actually helps out too. Or if it's just a Tiger Team Spotlight which gives you the tiny red dot above their head. Also, I just unlocked Tomahawks. So, I'm just trying to hit some sick cross map Tomahawks here. But let's see. No, this attachment does not give you the red dot. But yeah, I man, I've been having a ton of fun using the sniper in this game. I'm almost level 50, dude, just grinding my way up to gold here. Getting some nice clips. Just having a bunch of fun. Once I'm done with this sniper, we'll continue with the Tundra, of course. Since I do want to unlock Diamond on all of the snipers. And yeah, I'm not sure which level of the Pelinton you actually unlock this attachment. It's probably around 40 or something like that. Um, since it is kind of far down. See that guy over there? Dead. Okay, over here, dead. Let's go down here, dead. Like, I don't want to say it's broken, but it's... But it might be kind of broken, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, right there, this saw exactly where three people were. Now, obviously, I'm just staying here reloading, so... I am... Wait, oh my god, he almost just choked that. But yeah, guys, pop this attachment on. I promise you guys, you'll have a ton of fun. Tiger Team Spotlight. And yeah, man, especially on this map, this attachment is godly. Oh, Tomahawk. Oh, I don't think I've gotten a Tomahawk kill yet. We are not doing good on this map. I'm not even going for the objective. I just want to use this attachment. So, sorry, team. Whoa, wait a minute. Tomahawk. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. They were all just sitting there. Like, sitting ducks down in the river, dude. I'm not sure what the range of this thing is. I mean, I mean, I saw his red dot all the way over there. So, I feel like on regular maps, obviously, now I'm playing combined arms. So, the maps are going to be bigger. But on regular maps, there won't be that many spots. I don't feel like there won't be that many spots on the map where you won't be able to see the red dot. We cannot leave our spawn right now. We're just kind of stuck down here. We are struggling on this map. Now, the reason why I said that this feels kind of broken is because you don't really offer up any other good attachment for it, in my opinion. Like, on the body, you would mainly use these ones to, like, get better no-scopes, I guess. And obviously, if you're using something like Gunfighter, you can, of course, use all of the attachments that you'd like using that wild card. So, dude, they got us locked down here. Like, dude, I just saw that guy through the bushes. Oh, same with this guy. Someone over there, can't see him though. Dude, I feel like I'm invisible just running around here <laughs> using this attachment. Bro, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm not really used to playing combined arms with these many players. I like to stick to the core game modes, just domination or hard points. However, you can have a ton of fun in these game modes too. Since there's so many enemies. Tomahawk. Dude, imagine. Dude, he's got a chopper gunner. No way. I'm just gonna stand right here. I'm dead anyways. I 
feel like that is doing nothing to the chopper gunner. But yeah, let me know that in the comments. Do you guys think this is OP? Should it change it? I honestly, I don't know. Because on maps like this where you can't really see the enemies too, well, it's really nice to have. And I mean, snipers are kind of nerfed in this game already with the ADS speed and stuff like that. So I know that I'm calling it kind of OP and broken, but at the same time, I don't mind if they just keep it. Because obviously you still have to hit your shots. It's not like you get aimbot or anything. Oh! This chopper gunner stealing all my kills. Dude, the amount of chopper gunners. What is this, like the fourth one they have? I'm just gonna sit here and watch TV. What is this? Can this game just be over? We've been down here in our spawn the entire match. All right, game's finally over. No, it's over time. Oh. <laughs> oh, level 47 on the Pellington. Getting there, getting there. So next video, I should have gold on this sniper. All right, let's try this out on a regular Armada Strike domination game. So not the full-sized map. So yeah, let's see how useful this thing can get on this map. I just saw that guy through the smoke, dude. There's no way. There's no way. That was such an awkward fight. Oh. Is it safe to come out? Maybe. No, oh, the other guys on the other side were just about to go right next to each other for a collateral. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out on like satellites. With all the snipers just camping the dunes, you know? This map is not good for sniping. At least a smaller sized one. I saw your dot in there. Oh, no way that hit him. What? How? Did it bounce from the ground up to him? <laughs> yeah, this is an SMG map. SMG or AR. Sniper on this, you got like two spots that are good, which is this side over here, and then the right side. And even here, you don't really have too much protection. Oh, you're still back there? Holy! Headshots? Aww. I wanted the third headshot there. There's two guys behind this barrel. Really? Oh, I wanted the triple headshot there. I wanted the triple headshot there. This thing is kind of hard to aim with. <laughs> Imagine that hit him, the flick. No, attack Kelly. No! No, oh, lost that one too. Anyways, it was a lot of fun too, trying it out on a core game mode. Oh, we got the best play here. Is it a double headshot? Yeah. Look at these guys. He's sitting there. Anyways, that is, I believe, going to be it for this video. Just a quick one today. I wanted to show this attachment to you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care.